we are continuing with uh, the fight number six. We are raising the category to 85 kilograms. The fight will be by the rules of KWU Full Contact. The referee will be the legendary Sammy Shield, ladies and gentlemen. Four time K1 heavyweight champion Sammy Shield He'll will be, be in the, the ring referee of the next in a little bout. while. But now let me introduce you the player here in the red corner from the Netherlands, Mr. Anlor Dura! Anwar Dira from the Netherlands with 11 professional wins, three of them coming by a knockout. He's 193 centimeters tall. His record is 11 wins, three by knockout, and only two losses by far. One more time in the red corner from the Netherlands, Hanlor Dira! And now his opponent in the blue corner from Russia, Andre Chekhoni! So here I'm joined by the president of the Russian Martial Arts Union and the uh, president of the All Freestyle Karate Federation, Shihan Ramil Gabasov. At Senshi so far, four-time Russian kickboxing champion, TNA Tough Net Cup. He won the second place there in 2015. CIS kickboxing champion in 2015. 15 and many many more let's wish him good luck and a good fight Not andre chehoni who has brutal knockout power three wins at senshi winner of battle championships six years older than his opponent anwar dira from holland and the fight is about to begin under the kw full contact rules mr gabasov what do you expect of this fight good evening <laughs> I think that the fight will be <laughs> equal and, and Andre is very experienced and the Netherlands fighter, the, the Netherlands fighter started very actively. He uses his legs very much. I'd like to say that for the Russian fighter, I know him since childhood. He's very unpleasant technique, but uh, very effective. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chehoni has plenty of knockouts with low kicks. He even finished one of his opponents in Senshi with low kicks. Do you think he can finish this fight with low kicks too? I think Chihonin can any time end this match. And for now, they are looking to each other, they are evaluating each other. But the Netherlands uh, fighter ha lacks a bit of experience. But this is a fight. You shouldn't uh, bet. The Netherlands fighter keeps his distances. Chihonin is very dangerous when he's closer with his low, ki low kicks and his hands. I really like in Chihonin's games that every punch he does, every kick he throws, it's all about the knockout. He doesn't want to win by decision, he always want to go for the knockout. Yes. He's trying to end uh, in advance the fight. 
Он когда и выступал по правилам Киокушин Now a good left hook by Chehonin and uh, Anwar responds with a good right hand. Really equal match so far. 20 fights, uh, 25 seconds left until the round one. The, the fight is only in the first round. Uh, both fighters checked up the other and we will see what will happen in the second and the third round. They will have some tactics developed uh, in the second round, and third round. Uh, one finished and uh, both fighters showed really high pace. Uh, do you can think that they could continue fighting in uh, such high pace for the second and the third round? We will see. It, it will depend on the emotions. They are both very oriented for the victory. This is the trainer of Chikonians. And uh, the, ne the guys from the Netherlands also get advices. And both fighters will take these advices and use them. And will look for the weakest point of the other. And we begin in round two. Great combination by Anwar. Classic combination, two punches and a low kick. Now he goes for the knee. Semi shoot, the, the Jan does not let him get into the clinch. He started since the first second to make combinations. And Chihonin is waiting for, for the best time. Uh, Anwar Dira looks more active, but most of his punching are landing in the gloves. They're not landing to the head or to the body. Yes, Anwar Dira kicks and punches uh, much, but uh, he doesn't uh, make the hit. Obviously, in the corner, the trainers decided uh, the, the, the sportsmen to, to use combinations, and that's what they do. And we see that uh, Andre Chekhonin is still landing a lot of his low kicks and he's taking some punches to the head, but he keeps on going forward. Now a good left hook by Chekhonin. Very good, very good. Very good hit. Oh, Anwar looks rough, he looks low. Oh, now a nice right hook. Oh, this hit. will be the end of the fight probably. Let's see if he'll get up in 10. I don't think he will get up. This will be the end of the fight. Wow. Unfortunately. Oh, he stood up. Would they let him fight? I don't think they should let him fight. Yes. This is the end. The end. Good decision Before of uh, same The end of uh, the timing. Good decision of Semi Shoot, and we saw another great win with a knockout for Andre Chihoni here in the ring of Senshi. It looked like he had trouble in the first round finding his distance, finding his rhythm. But in the second round, he came out guns blazing and he again proved that he's one of the most vicious knockout punchers in the Senshi ring. Great performance, really. And I would like to thank you very much, Ihan Ramil Gabasu, for commentating this fight with me. It was a huge pleasure. I hope we can do it again. Yeah, I, I wish you to... You to practice uh, martial arts, all Thank of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
not going Okay, this is Senshi 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting for uh, the player from uh, from Netherlands who had a very, very, very heavy knockout, as you saw. So they are now trying to bring him back on the ring. Okay, and now the winner in the blue corner. Andrei Chehorin from Russia with knockout in the second round. Another great win for Chehorin. The prize for the winner will be given by the legendary Sammy Shield, four times K1 heavyweight champion. Four the times high tower K1 heavyweight champion here Sammy Shield will give the award for Chehorin, which uh, is a good number because this is his fourth win in the ring of Senshi. Great performance, really, by both of them. The Dutch representative really fought hard, but just the power of the punches of Andrei Jehonin is so big that oof, and he landed a couple of punches right off the chin, and I guess once he lands a couple of those, you just cannot keep on going. Now in the next fight, we're gonna go for the Waco European title. And we're going to see another great knockout puncher, Peter Stoiko from Bulgaria, who has five wins in the Senshi event.